Hello, everyone. This is Independent Conservative. I am Ryan Bowden. Thank you all for joining me. I'm having a little problem with this camera here a little bit, but I hope it is, hopefully this video works out. Okay. Uh, thank you guys for joining me once again. I wanted to do a little follow-up on this Charles Barkley debacle thing. So what I found out was that um, he backtracked his words when he stated earlier that um, he wanted to punch out or punch in the face all blacks who supported Trump with those shirts with his mugshot on it. That, that like when he yeah. Now all of a sudden he's backtracking his words, but he still believes and holds on to this idea that they're still idiots. Okay. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna read this article, a portion of this article from a uh website it was Fan Nation. So I don't know how accurate this is, but I have been hearing uh, from other sources that he basically backtracked his words. It seems like to me he's getting some other threats. Maybe somebody's threatening him. I don't know. I don't know. But let's get right into this article, and then I'm going to give you my commentary. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So, anyway, he, he decides to backtrack his words. And uh, last week, it says, last week, Charles Barkley made it clear how he felt about any black person who supported former President Donald Trump on Wednesday. He backtracked on when he said he would punch those supporters in the face. Barkley explained his comments during an appearance on CNN's King Charles show. So apparently this is where he's ha he's having the issues. Yet. This is where he decided to backtrack his words because, you know, he's having some issues. Right. Uh, I, and apparently these are his words. OK, and I'm just reading you what he supposedly said in the transcript here. Well, let me say. Let me say, is, is this my camera right here? I want to make sure people can hear me, Barkley said. Number one, obviously, I'm not going to go around punching random strangers in the face, first and foremost. Secondly, people can vote for who they want to. People can vote for who they want to. The point I was trying to make, no, the point I was making, I wasn't trying to make it when Donald Trump compares his plight with that other black person that is what i had a problem with i don't know how that's reading okay <laughs> i don't know is that how he said it you know i don't you know it's kind of awkward um yeah <laughs> okay he says while barkley distanced himself from violent from the violent part of his comments he refused to back down from what he had said about blacks who support trump now i don't and this is apparently what he said right now, I don't want to say now I do want to say this rather. I want to make it perfectly clear. Barkley said, if you're a black person and you're wearing a Donald Trump mugshot, you are a freaking idiot. And I'm only saying freaking idiot because they won't let me say what I really want to say. But you can figure it out. It starts with an F. OK, whatever you whatever you say, man, people call me freaking idiots. People call me effing idiots. People come. But I'm going to get into that. I'm going to get into that. But you are. Listen. People can vote for who they want to. I've been saying that. I have. I, 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 yeah, uh, yeah. People can vote for who they want to, but for him to compare his plight with that other, with that other African, I don't even like that term. But black people in America is asinine and stupid. And like I said, you guys can put on those two small, two small T-shirts, like you all got them on. Get a big size if you're going to wear it. Don't put on a medium and act like you got muscles. But that is so, it just, that bothered me. Okay, that's the end of that article right there. I mean, the way that reads, if in fact he said it in that tone and in that <laughs> and that uh, intensity, if you will, because uh, I didn't see the actual video and I didn't see the actual uh, interview. But if he said it in that tone, what the, the latter portion of that speech, if you will, com communicates to me is that it's it's like he's still he said it's like he's saying, look, it's still on like Donkey Kong. Okay, hey, I, I, he's saying you guys can vote for who you want to vote for, but you want to put them shirts on ain't too small. Woo -woo. In other words, he's mocking any black support or uh, black Trump supporter. He's mocking them. My, my answer to that is this. Okay, they mock Jesus. They mock me. They, 
People have been mocking black conservatives, period. Forget about them mocking black Trump supporters. People have been mocking black conservatives, period. But let me say something on the idea of, of mocking black Trump supporters. A lot of these Trump supporters, and I said this in the previous video, a lot of these Trump supporters have become Trump supporters for various reasons. The first reason is, okay, is because they realized that when Trump was in office, they were better off financially than they are now. Inflation is sky high under the Biden administration. We can scream and holler, fart and poo and, and, and be butthurt about this idea that, 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 uh, um, that was Trump's doing. And that's why inflation is high. You can do that, whatever, whatever, whatever. The reality of the matter is inflation is sky high under the Biden administration. And I believe it was caused by Biden, but I'm not going to get into the details of that. OK, uh, but they also came to the realization that not only is inflation sky high under the Biden administration, which is calling them to causing them to turn to Trump and more supportive of him. They're starting to see that a lot of the stuff that's happening to Trump is just off the rails. OK, it's just like it just doesn't make sense. It seems to be becoming more and more apparent to a lot of these black people. And like I said before, a lot of these black people are from the hood. A lot of these black people are not from the upper upper echelons of society. A lot of these black people are from the hood. I've seen videos on them. I've seen it time and time and time again. OK. And they're seeing that a lot of this stuff that is happening to Trump is just not right. Now, some have argued that, and this is where people uh, uh, probably had a, uh, um, Barkley have had a problem probably with Trump saying, supposedly comparing himself to black people who've been, you know, incarcerated unfairly. Uh, I'm not going to get into all of that because I don't think that's what Trump was trying to say. Okay. But any people going to read into what they want to read into. If they don't like the man, they're going to read into him anyway. It doesn't matter what he says. Everything he says is wrong. Everything he says is evil. So what, it don't matter. I don't even argue that anymore with people. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't think he was comparing himself in any way. This is what Charles Barkley had a problem with. With Trump supposedly comparing himself with black people who, I guess, were being uh, unfairly incarcerated. OK, um, but that's not the issue right there. Black people in general are starting to side more with Trump based on economic issues. They were better off when Trump was in office. They're worse off now that Biden is in office. OK, it, it's, it was almost it was almost immediate. OK, now that's what I wanted to say on that front. OK, but the other thing is this. The whole backtracking of Charles Barkley saying it's obvious I'm not going to go out and punch somebody in the face is clear to me that he has been either get someone says something to him or he's read some tweets or on, on, on uh, X, formerly known as Twitter, whatever they call it now. OK. And he's probably read the tweets. He's probably heard a lot of negative comments from other people saying, bring it on, bro. Bring it on, man. Bring it on. You know, I mean, it, 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 bring it on. What, 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 what you going to do? And what he's, in a sense, doing when he said what he said about black Trump supporters wearing those shirts, okay, is... A lot of them read that as, hey, man, bring it on. Bring it on. Come on. come. On. What you going to do? What you going to do? So now he's backtracking his words because of the backlash he's been getting. And my philosophy is like this. OK, if you think you all that in a bag of chips because you were a celebrity and you have celebrity status, you have all this money. You might as well go ahead and stand up. Stand on what you stand on what you believe, bro. Stand on what you believe. Look, I was never into Charles Barkley. I was never a fan of his or any of that. I wasn't, and not because I had anything personally against Charles Barkley, any of that kind of thing. I wasn't into basketball. Wasn't then, isn't now. I'm not really, it wasn't my thing, okay? 
Um, so my criti criticism of what he said has nothing to do with him personally. Although I do know from the past that he has said a lot of things that are controversial. Okay. My old philosophy, once again, is what you said, bro. And now is now you backtracking it. You're backtracking it because you're getting a lot, you're getting a lot of backlash. That's the deal. You're getting a lot of backlash. People don't like what you're saying. And look, at the end of the day, he was right about this idea of you can vote for who you want to vote for. People can vote for who they want to vote for. Go ahead. Okay. But if you still believe that Trump supporters who wear those shirts are effing idiots, fine. Fine. I don't think any of these black folks that wear his shirt are going to be offended by you calling them an effing idiot. Because at the end of the day, you calling them an effing, effing idiot behind a gated community. At the end of the day, you calling them an effing idiot in the safety of your own home. At the end of the day, you calling them an effing idiot on a talk show or whatever, where you being interviewed. You ain't going to get into their face and say you effing idiot. You ain't going to do that. I'm being improper here. You ain't going to do that, Mr. Barkley. Okay, you're not going to do that. You can call him an effing idiot. You can call him asinine. You can call him stupid and all the rest. You can do what you want to do. People have been doing that for decades towards black conservatives. Ignorant of the fact, that I'm not finna go into that. You watch my phone videos because that to me, I'll be repeating myself. But let me just throw it out there. A lot of black people are ignorant of, of history and of the actual, the former Republican Party. And it was the former Republican Party that created laws and legislation to set blacks free from, uh, from Jim Crow laws and from slavery. It was them that did it. You can poot and snot and fart all day. And uh, that's facts. That's reality. That's history. A lot of black people are ignorant of that. So they walk around in this mind controlled haze, not understanding all that needs to be understood. But having said that, for decades, people have been, been putting black uh, uh, conservatives down. No big deal. No big deal. But just, just at the end of the day, you can call them effing idiots all day. Yeah, you backtrack what you said, but you still standing on this idea that they're still idiots. Okay, fine. But I guarantee you, you will not drive or fly in your, one of your jets or drive in a limousine or have somebody your limo driver drive you down into the hood. And tell these brothers and these sisters in the hood who a lot of them are starting to support Trump and wearing the mugshot shirts, you an effing idiot for wearing that shirt. You not going, I'm going to be proper now. You're not going to do that, bro. You ain't, you, you're not going to do that. Say what you want to say. Get your ratings. I do what I do. I mean, look, I try to make my videos entertaining as well as informative because hey i want people to watch them i want people to share them at the end of the day it's all about entertainment right do what you do say what you say mr barkley it's all about entertainment at the end of the day but if you really sincerely mean what you say i dare you to go into the neighborhoods of these inner cities and say what you said now y'all may be saying well i'm trying to invoke uh, violence no i'm not I'm not provoking violence or anything like that. I'm just saying that I'm just making a point. I'm just saying that if he's really firm in what he believes in, then he needs to go ahead and carry it all the way through. Because isn't that what, what, what liberals do anyway? I mean, isn't that, at least that's what I've observed, okay? Since I've been a conservative since 2016, what I have personally observed through videos and articles and just personal experience on my job, is that people from the left are willing not only to call you all kinds of horrible names and make threats to you, but they're willing to physically assault you because of what you believe in. This is what I have seen and this is what I have experienced. Okay, so I know personally, okay, what it's all about. They're the ones willing to do that, okay, and... If Charles, if Mr. Barkley, if you all of that and you believe that blacks are still are, are idiots, even though you backtrack what you said about punching them in the face, you believe they're idiots for wearing these, then go into those neighborhoods and tell them that. 
You an idiot, man, for wearing that shirt. Having no idea why they're wearing it. Having no idea why a lot of these black people are turning to Trump to support him. That's what kills me. It's, it's, it kills me. What kills me is these conservatives see this. I mean, not conservatives. <laughs> what kills me is the liberals. See, liberal media sees this kind of stuff. Liberal politicians see this kind of stuff. And instead of asking, okay, why is it that black people are starting to support Trump now? Why is it that Trump is beating everything now? Beating Nikki Haley, just beating it. Why is that? Because people got common sense. Black, white, Hispanic don't make no difference. They have common sense. They're the ones living in the real world. The politicians, the, the uh, 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 entertainers, and all the rest are living behind gated communities. They're protected. How in the H-E-L-L -L, you going to tell me anything about what I actually see, feel, taste, and hear? That's what ticks me off and makes me want to cuss. Because you think these, these, these liberals in high positions think we stupid. And people like Charles Barkley makes up that echelon of people. Okay? Say what you want about it, but at the end of the day, it's a bunch of bull crap. So that's what I had to say about that. Yeah, you backtracked his words now, but he still considers Trump supporters who wear these shirts, black Trump supporters wear these shirts as idiots. Fine, man. Call, call me. I don't care. People call me all kinds of names in the comment section. And when they do, I just delete them. I don't respond. I delete them. I have that option. I ain't got to respond to that. Especially if I know I've said something that made sense in my commentary and you got an attitude. And you so mad. You got to call me names and all this. Delete. Got time for that foolishness. You act like a big baby. I'm not going to. Okay. So I just delete it. You can say what you want to say. Do what you want to do. They persecuted Jesus. They talked about him. At the end of the day, when I die, I know where I'm going. Do you? I'm not saying anybody here, but you get what I'm saying. <laughs> to you, you better make sure. Anyway, that's what I had to say about that. What do you guys think? Leave your comments in the comment section below. Like, share, and subscribe to my channel. God bless you all. See you again.